What's up everyone? Welcome back. Moving on to more exponential expressions to simplify. So starting with number one, we got four to the negative one over three to the negative two to the power of negative two. Now, whenever I have a bunch of stuff going on in a bracket, and then there's an exponent outside of the bracket, I always like to simplify the bracket first, if possible, before dealing with that exponent on the outside. So four to the power of negative one over three to the power of negative two. Notice this is a fraction with negative exponents, so we could flip these. So four to the negative one I'm gonna bring down, three to the power of negative two I'm gonna bring up. So this would end up being three to the power of positive two over four to the power of positive one. And this is still to the power of negative two. Right, so three to the power of two is nine, four to the power of one is four, so this is nine over four to the power of negative two. And this ends up being four over nine to the power of positive two. From here, you gotta distribute the exponent into the um, numerator and denominator. So this ends up being four squared over nine squared, which ends up being 16 over 81. All right, so 16 over 81 is the answer for number one. And we first simplified the bracket and then we used this law. So 16 over 81. Moving on to number two, we got three to the negative two times three to the power of three plus three to the power of two. So just using bed mass, we gotta, use, uh, we gotta do the brackets first. Now, notice how we've had questions like this where all of these were multiplying. If all of these were multiplying, so if it was three to the negative two times three to the three times three to the two, we would just add up all of the exponents but we have this addition here and we have this bracket here. So we got to work with this bracket first and then we'll take care of that. So I'm going to keep the three to the negative two separate for now and then just work with this bracket. Three to the power of three is 27 and three to the power of two is nine, right? So 27 plus nine is 36 and then here, three to the power of negative two, that changes to one over three to the power of two. And then we have 36 over here. So this ends up being one over nine times 36, which ends up being four. So the answer to number two is four, right? So you have to deal with the bracket first. Another thing you could actually do, it's a little bit weird, but you'll get the same answer, is you could actually distribute this expression uh, into the bracket. So you can have three to the power of negative two times three to the power of three plus three to the power of negative two times three to the power of positive two, All right? So I took this, distributed it. So this times that plus this times that. And then notice what we end up getting. Here, we're multiplying exponents with the same base. We could add them. Negative two plus three is one, so this is three to the power one. Then negative two plus two is zero, so this ends up being three to the power zero. Three to the power one is just three. Three to the power zero is one, so this ends up being four. Same answer, right? But I prefer to do it the first way. Okay, number three. We got three to the negative two plus two to the negative three over three to the negative two minus two to the negative three. Now, because there's an addition here and a subtraction, we can't just simplify this three to the negative two over three to the negative two and then two to the negative three, two to the negative three. If this was multiplication, then we potentially can. So because there's an addition here, this is actually more of a pain because we got to simplify the numerator first we got to simplify the denominator. And then we could take the numerator divided by the denominator. So three to the power of negative two, that ends up being one over three to the power of two, plus two to the negative three ends up being one over two to the power of three. And that's gonna be all over three to the negative two, one over three to the two, minus two to the negative three, one over two to the power of three. Right, so we're working with fractions within a big fraction. So we got to simplify numerator, denominator, then we could divide them. So this ends up being one over nine plus one over eight. This ends up being one over nine minus one over eight. My 
like that. So lowest common denominator between nine and eight is 72. So one over nine, the nine we multiply by eight to get 72. So multiply the top by eight. So this is eight over 72 plus nine over 72, all over eight over 72 uh, minus nine over 72. All right, sort of running out of room here, so I'll just continue this up here. So uh, eight over 72 plus nine over 72, that gives us uh, what, 17 over 72? And then we're gonna be dividing Eight minus nine is negative one over 72. So a fraction divided by another fraction, that's like the fraction in the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. So this ends up being 72 over negative one. And then over here, notice the 72s will just cancel out. 17 over negative one, it's just negative 17. So the answer to number three is negative 17. And again, you can check your answer in the calculator. If take this, plug it into your calculator, you should get negative 17. That should be the correct answer. And when you do plug these sort of expressions into your calculator, make sure that this numerator is in brackets and then this denominator is in its own bracket as well. As long as you put the brackets for the whole numerator divided by the whole denominator, you should get that answer of negative 17. Okay, number four, I'm actually going to do up here because I feel like it's gonna take me more room like number three did. So three to the negative two, that turns into one over nine, and then two to the power of three is eight. This eight is like over one. And this is going to be all over 3 to the power of 2 is 9 plus 2 to the power of negative 3. That is 1 over 8, as we saw in example 3. So this is 1 over 8. So again, simplify the numerator first, simplify the denominator, and then you can divide the numerator and denominator. So um, this 9 here is over 1. So common denominator between nine and one is just nine. So we're gonna multiply this one by nine, multiply the top by nine. So this would end up being one over nine plus um, 72 over nine, all over nine over one plus one over eight. Common denominator is eight between these. So multiply this by eight, multiply the top by eight. So that's uh, nine over one ends up being 72 over eight. And we got plus one over eight, like that. So one over nine plus 72 over nine, that gives us 73 over nine. 72 over eight plus one over eight, that gives us 73 over eight. Fraction divided by another fraction, that's like the fraction in the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. So we gotta flip the second fraction. So that's like eight over 73. 73's cancel out, final answer is eight over nine. All right, so number four, final answer, eight over nine. Again, check your answer in the calculator. When you do input in the calculator, make sure you're putting that in brackets, the numerator and the denominator.